slower rally you got going on. It's a good finish. She's very good in that front uh, front back Yeah, hand, front backhand, hand. Yeah. really good. Strength area Three, for, for Evans. Definitely. The, the extra yeah. couple of milliseconds. So almost, even though Holt is thinking about technical skill, it's actually more movement technical than yeah. backhand technical, because if you get there early, it gives you options. And that's what Tesney does very well. Yeah. She, she reads the game well, doesn't it's she? It's a great shot. I love that finish there by right Elsa. She created, Three, yeah, created the opening. She's hit a length. She hasn't hit it going into the sidewall. She's hit it on. So composed on that finish. I noticed that yesterday Seven against Laura. Uh, Laura didn't play well and she looked nervous, but any time Tesney got that half court shot. Oh. Well, Anson Waters tried to stick a racket really far forward, take it in front of the body, which is. It was a good ploy, but it just wasn't quite Eight good enough quality, three. and Tesney right. Evans was all over it. 11-5, James to Evans. The fist pump and a bit of a head nod from Chilean the Welsh number one, one. Tesney Evans gets herself in front in this ladies' final. Uh, obviously hit tight enough so she can't volley, but she did start to get into her a bit. Uh, yeah, I just think Ali needs to just mix oh. That's great such. Just needs to mix it a little bit. Four, love. Oh, <laughs> oh dearie me. I just can't stop her. Six. This is outrageous from Evans. I mean, um, hit a fantastic length. I think it just... Some of their winners are, are quite outrageous, so you focus on those and they get clipped on, you know, shot of the exactly. month. Exactly. Uh, it's, it's never a perfect length, is it, shot of the month? No, <laughs> although th this was, seven. <laughs> that was a lovely shot. Yeah. Oh, it's a tough rally. Down. A lucky oh. bounce at the end, but tough rally. Alison is definitely playing herself into this game more. I know she's still down the score, and but this is better than the first Nine game. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Music to the ears of Alison Waters hearing that tin. Nine four. So it's been very rare all week right from Tesney Evans. Hands, but they're keeping the quality. No let. No let. 11 9. Going to Evans. Well, you'd have to say like there's been uh, one or two co controversial decisions here. So you're just getting the ball past her more often. And so Tesney was under. It's a great shot. Tesney was under under pressure or, or away from the middle at least. Because in the first game, Tesney literally she walked was doing some work, wasn't she? When you're playing with a scoring like this, only to 11 points, you know, you get that, she got that 4-1 lead and she's come off it a little bit now and Tesney's sensing it, isn't she? She's got, she's got momentum now. Yeah. And, uh, and even though it's only 5-4, five, five, it feels bigger, doesn't it? It, it does, yes. Again. I thought that was quite a harsh one for the referee to put his, to make a statement with, yeah. <laughs> Because I thought she dealt with that ball landing short really shot. Um, I thought she dealt amazing. with it. Yeah, I thought she dealt with it really well on that drop, and she wasn't. And she didn't do anything wrong actually. Eight, five. Yeah, it wasn't. Uh, I've seen seen much worse. Oh, oh she's gone great for shot. It. Great shot. That was a brave, excellent ten. rally by Alison. She had two opportunities to take it in short, and she did. She didn't hold back. Really, really good guts there. It's almost nerves. like uh, the first rally of the first game. Yeah. Just uh, very relaxed there. I think I would have tensed up on a, one or two <laughs> of those shots. <laughs> so 
one saved. Oh, she well, she's seven. done it. Tesney Evans, the first Durban. ever Welsh woman to become British champion. Thoroughly deserved. She's been the best player all week. Absolutely Evans fantastic one, performance five, from her. Alison Waters seven. played her part. She's been the most successful female player in this tournament. But Tesney Evans, what a performance and there. Congratulations from a coach and a father. 11-5, 11-9, 11-7 in 43 minutes. She wins three love against Alison Waters. Tesney Evans is the British national champion 2018. So ladies and gentlemen, the winner and national champion 2018 from Wales, Tesney Evans. I mean, you couldn't, uh, if you had two, two club players of a similar standard, you couldn't imagine that, uh, that happening. No, and you know, that's one of the strengths of Nick. He, he always manages to find a way to win somehow. Um, it's tight. Yeah. A wry smile between, between these two. So tight. It was just teasing though, wasn't it? It was bouncing. It wasn't actually that low, but Wilstrop couldn't get under it. Oh, unbelievable set of shots there from James, uh, but the shot to finish that rally. Look so he made that look so easy when in fact it's such a difficult shot to play. Well, there's two two uh, misses that keeps him very low, uh, low low to the to the floor or very high. There's nothing around the middle that that James can sort of just step onto or he tries not to anyway. And that was a good example of a really low ball. Another one there again. Eleven seven. Into yeah, just got off to the uh, slightly better Robin start. Clark. You have to say, Nick Matthew. Another word that uh, is often used to describe Nick Matthew is is uh, calculated. Everything just seems to be planned out so well, doesn't it's it? Uh, there's a few more out there as well. It's a great shot from James. He's uh, had a good good Seven spell here six. to get uh, to edge one point in front of Nick. He's a slightly laboured laboured movement from Wilstrop there. Nick Matthew dragging. Down. This fellow Yorkshireman around the court. And that was uh, a little bit of fortune Ten for Wilstrop. The error from Nick Matthew. He had a chance. Oh, that's good depth from Matthew. Oh. Wonderful play. Ten. Really wonderful play. And you can see. That Matthew extra determination Matthew from from the wolf there. Uh, wow. Down. Well, that first drop shot. Uh, oh. Oh. And out. He got it. He got it. And, uh, and Nick just had a little look. He, he knows that's going to wind James, James up a little bit. But wow. As you'd expect. That's severe, isn't it? Yeah. Very severe on the forehand side from uh, Will Strop. He read it Seven, really early there. Oh. Clever, Seven, clever five. shot from Will Strop. No reaction at all Will from Strop. the man from Pontefract. He's taken the third one. game at the start of this game.
What a pickup. Oh, it's oh. going to be a stroke. It's got to be a stroke as Nick Matthew finds himself on the ground. Oh, it looks like they've made up now. <laughs> Court attendant, please. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's a good bit of sportsmanship there. Too wide, it's too wide, it was too early from Nick Matthew. James Eight Wills drop. Five. Still moving incredibly well, but just it's good whip from Will Strop. He's got a chance here. Oh, he's got it. Nick Matthew scrambling. Eleven and six. Well, he had that, he had that one planned out and he's uh, hopefully going to shake James Wilstrock's hand at some point. Ten titles to Nick Matthew. Wilstrock did everything he could. Matthew Played some wins. phenomenal squash at times, but one. it was the same old story for Nick Matthew. Coming through, 11-7. I'll let the referee do it. 11-6 in the fourth game in 69 minutes. So Nick Matthew is the British champion for the 10th time. Oh dear, I'm not used to this. Um, yes, I've always said I'm very proud of Nick, not because of what he's achieved in squash, but because of the caring, lovely person that he is. And I'm being silly now, I know. <laughs> but he's a lovely daddy as well, and family man, and... That's what I'm most proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that says everything. Sue Matthew and Nick's father, Headley. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think I'd get one, to be honest. Um, you know, um, I think, um, you know, James was right to acknowledge, you know, ju not just the people who've played the part in my journey, you know, I think it was a little bit unfair on James, you know, that my mum and dad got invited on. I think, you know, Malcolm, Mick, Todd, you know, Vanessa, James's two um, children at home, um, you know, James um, off the court as well, you know, he actually took, DP forgot that it was his wife's birthday this morning, James actually took her out for breakfast, you know, so, uh, you know, um, top guy you know his team deserves all the acknowledgements of my team and you know talking about DP when um, you know one of the biggest honours I got that OBE and he said that it stands for other buggers efforts <laughs> and uh, you know he's not far wrong to be honest <laughs>